guys, how's it going? Welcome to myvirginkitchen.com. Today, me and Phoebe. Hello, Phoebe. Look at your mouse. Mouse apron, yeah. We are gonna be making a really quick chocolatey cake thing with oranges and stuff. And uh, it's really quick and easy. Phoebe's gonna make it. I'm gonna supervise, or vi probably gonna be the other way around. And uh, we'll see how we get on. Um, first thing you need to do is boil a kettle. So let's do that. Um, I've got a kettle with the most annoying boiling noise ever. Um, anyway, what you need is some hot chocolate mix, uh, two teaspoons of that in a mug, which you're gonna fill up to about 50 mils with the boiling water. Um, some vanilla extract, about a teaspoon of that. A bowl to put it in, you can eat when it's done. Some soft cheese, which was from that pack there, 75 grams there. Some vanilla yogurt, that's 125 grams there. Um, some mandarins, and also, oh. That is the most annoying kettle noise in the world. I have dreams about that thing. You also need some sponge fingers, which you're gonna layer in, and they're ideal for making quick desserts. Can you say pudding? Pudding. Yeah, right. Do you wanna try a sponge finger? This is the first time she's ever had a sponge finger, so. Do you wanna try that? Good? Uh, she's thinking about it. Right, so I've got, just boiled the kettle there because you need to put the water in here, but it just needs to be warmish. So I'm gonna pour that in in a minute up to 50 mils and let it cool down over the side. In fact, I'll do that now. 50 mils. That's about right. So I'll give that a stir around in a minute, and leave it to cool down over that side, and then we can start getting this stuff together. So the first thing we've got to do, which Phoebe's gonna do, is get your yogurt and your cream cheese and mix it up together in a bowl with a whisk, which conveniently is here. So uh, get on and do that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is grab the whisk and give it to your kid like that, and she is going for those sponge fingers. <gasps> right, first thing, grab your cream cheese, put it in the bowl like that. Nice. All right, whisk that together, monkey. Look at that whisk in action. Right. So that can't be left on its own. We need to add some of it. So let's get our 125 mils of natural yogurt. Get that in there as well. So whisk that up, dude, okay? And one final bit is your vanilla extract. Can you see that? I don't know. Right, so let's put about a teaspoon of that in there. There we go. As you can see then, that is all in there. Give that a blooming good stir around so it's all nice and smooth and funky. Okay, Phoebes? She is obsessed by those sponge fingers. There we go. Right, so keep doing that and see how you get on. Good times. Right, she's finished whisking. There you go. Are you happy with that, dude? Does that look good? She just wants to keep doing it all day. And you see it's nice and smooth, it looks like milk. So, basically, after, while she's doing that, I broke up some of these biscuits. Um, I also had one myself, they are very nice, I actually highly recommend them. Um, anyway, let's put this to one side. Put the whisk in there. Good girl. Biscuits! Biscuits, that's it. So get your bowl, and then put your biscuits at the bottom of the dish, like that. So do it so you've got one layer all on the bottom. More. Yeah. Doing a good job there, dude. More. Yeah, a bit more. There's some more there, isn't there? All right, keep doing that. Okay, that's looking good. Right, now what we'll do is get some, oh no, not the oranges. We've got to get the hot chocolate drink. I'm gonna do that, which I've stirred because it's hot. I'm gonna pour that on there. Just over there, like that. Only half of it, okay? Right, so that's on there. And the, the sponge stuff should soak it up. Now what you need to do is grab your oranges and put the oranges on there. Do you want to do that, Phoebes? Oh, not all of them. Oops. Okay. You need to put half of them on there. So put those back in the yeah. tin. Yeah. Can you spread them out for me? Spread them out. No, 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 no. That's what Daddy's doing. Put them, in the, put them on top of the sponge. That's it. Like this. S. Yeah, move them around so that. S. Yeah. Okay, 
So do that so you're happy with uh, your layout. Out. Pardon? Out. Are you happy with your layout? Phoebes? Out. Right. Okay, so that's probably not the best layout to do. That's probably a bit too tactical one side. You know, you're going to get lost out down there. So what we need to do is get an even spread. So move them around there a bit. Out. That's it. That's better. Right, so do that. Okay, so it's looking like that now. Looking good. Um, so grab the, your bowl and start to pour the mixture on top of that. So I help feed you with this. Just pour it on there. So it covers all of the uh, all of the cake. Make sure like that. We'll get her a little spoon from that one. Right, spoon that around you. So spread that over so it covers all of the the oranges and the sponge fingers. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're left with. Good girl. Right, so there you go. You've got a nice sort of smoothish layer again. So what you've got to do is just basically repeat the same step again. So get your sponge biscuits again and put them on there. That's it. So keep doing that. Pour the chocolate on it, put the oranges on, and then top it over again. And uh, we can put it in the fridge. So we're nearly there. Right, so we got enough biscuits on there like that. Looking good, huh, Phoebes? Yeah. Right, so now get your hot chocolate stuff again and pour the rest of it over. And see, this should be quite warm but not boiling hot. Pour that on there like that. So hopefully those biscuits will soak it all up. Yeah. Yeah. And then get your oranges, what you've got left. Put your oranges on. And chuck the whole tin on now. Look at that. Wow. Any more in there? There we go. One more. There we go. Right, spread those out. So spread those out again. Righty-ho then, that is what it's looking like. Just need to put the rest of the topping on again, like this. And make sure it covers as much of it as you can, like before. If I get all that on there for you, Phoebes, and then you can spread it out, right, mate? Right, spread it out with your spoon now. There you are. So spread that out so it all covers it. And we're very, very, very nearly there now. We've just got to sprinkle some chocolate, um, some more of your chocolate granules on the top of it. And then we can put it in the fridge for an hour. Woo! What are you doing? Right, are you going to tell people what we did? We put some more yoghurt on there as you saw us doing, left that there. We had a little bit of chocolate powder that we just sprinkled over the top. So basically all we're going to do now is plonk that in the fridge for an hour to chill out and set. And Phoebe and I are going to go and play, yeah? You want to go and play? Yeah, yeah you're going to play with her toys. Alright, so we'll see you in an hour or so when she's going to eat that and uh, we'll let you know how it tastes. Bye bye! Bye bye! Okay guys, we've had a little bit of fun, we've been dancing, we've been partying. She was a little bit high on the sugar, but she's ch chilled out a little bit now. Um, here's a little clip of her dancing, actually. Now <laughs> swim! Wow. Ski! You need a ski? Spray? Macho man. Sandy horn. That girl's crazy. Anyway, what better thing to do than, you know, April's coming, the warm weather's outside, than to watch something seasonal, you know? And she has opted to watch The Snowman. You watching The Snowman? Yeah. Cake. Cake. There you go. That's pretty cool. So you got bits of the orange and the biscuit in there and the yogurt. Have a go, see what you think. Moment of truth. Is that nice? Mm. Nice? Or bad? Good or bad? Yeah? Job done. See you next time.